What up, world? What's going on? Listen, listen. I want to thank everyone for streaming, playlisting. It's the holidays. Say so it's been out for a little while, maybe over a week, where you can download it at jazzandartists.com. And then I decided to put it out to give more access to the song during this next week before Christmas. Uh, so it just came out on Friday the 18th. And I uh, appreciate the feedback. So today I just want to give you just a little insight to my thought process behind the song, kind of how it came about, this and that and the third. So uh, I guess I'll start with, for a long time, I wanted to do a Christmas album. And it was like, how do you do that when you're a hip hop renaissance artist with all these genres? Um and, and be successful at it. And given that, you know, I don't sing like that, it's like, I'm not going to be doing uh, renditions of songs. You know, um, I don't really want to sample anything because, you know, clearance is, is, is a hassle. So it was like this thought just kept eating at me over these years. And then when I saw what uh, 116 Lecrae and them did, on their Christmas compilation, uh, was it last year or the year before? I was like, yo, that that inspired me. Like, okay, I can do it, but of course I got to do it like me. So um, shout out to my, my, my friend, Linda Greenwood in, in North Carolina. She's a radio personality. And um, speaking to her this year in a virtual event, she talked about um, Christmas in July that she does. You know, she's playing Christmas music and... I was like, man, I need to do this Christmas song. And now that I'm just getting into, uh, or I've gotten into sync the last year, it's like the importance of having a Christmas song, not only to expand a bit given the genre, but you know, brother trying to have a check every year, you know what I mean? So um, it still just didn't come easy. I've, I've been more inspired than actually like finding a song and creating a song. So doing a lot of uh christmas submissions shout out to my guy um big rez in india we've been collaborating on some christmas music but it's been more instrumental stuff and so finally i hit my man tone jones up um anybody that knows me like dude is phenomenal he's the best to ever do it uh his his quality of music just fits my sound so uh, I was I was on his website, and uh, I was like, I know he got to have like a Christmas song, like I like I know he got to have like one or two that's probably gonna fit me. So let me see what I can do, and um, you know, he's really the main person that I leash from. Um, I've got some some leases, uh, maybe two outside producers, um, but he's like my go to. So I'm like. If he don't have it, I'm probably not going to no one else. And I found this song, which is the beat that you hear now. And uh, I was like, yo, this is dope. No, anybody that knows me too and knows my music, like I'm not really a trap person, right? Like I have some trap records, like in the essence of, of trap music. But when I get on it, you know, it ain't really trap. You know what I mean? But it had that feel, but I, you know... I know music, so I'm like, yo, I can do something. I, I, I can do something with this. Um, so I bought the beat, and I'm listening, and I had nothing. Like, I, I really, like, I was engaged on it, but I didn't really have any words, and I had no melody. It, it really took me probably, like, a good seven to ten minutes just sitting there just like, uh... I bought this and I have nothing to, you know, I don't have anything to, to put on it. And so uh, after some time passed, I just. And I was like, OK, that's a little different. That's, you know. And then the words came. Actually, I think the words, it was a bit like. Um, then a then a holiday, something, something, man, a maze. That's kind of how I went with it. And uh, I was like, okay, it's okay. Let me just. And shortly thereafter, I ended up writing the hook. Um, a lot of times when, when I write, it depends on how it flows, right? So sometimes I might just write the hook 
and I can't really dive into the verses, so I just come back to it, demo it, listen to it. Okay, got the vibe. But this time, I really wanted to push myself because I was I was really in the moment. And um, I'm really trying to not shy away from the moment. You know how sometimes you, you get ideas and you don't lay it down instantly. So I was like, nah, I can't do that. Let me like get into it. And so I pushed myself. And after doing the first verse, I was like, bruh, okay, I think I can go into the second verse. And uh, I think I did a little bit and came back to it. And so that's that's like pretty much how the song got birthed. I mean, you're talking like literally in a matter of minutes of getting something to a few hours of writing it, laying it down, making sure it was good to like, wow, I just knocked this out and I feel really strong about it. Um, and of course, you know, the mindset was just, we got the craziest year ever um, globally, but then we also have our personal stuff, you know, I know holidays is difficult for me, you know, um, dealing with per, uh, parental alienation with my first son, Jace, what up? Um, losing my second son at 22 weeks, Jameis, what up? Rest in heaven, I love you. And, um, you know, a bunch of other things too, uh, you know, health related. Like I've spent a lot of holidays unhealthy. Um, and so it, it's, it's really not fun um when it when it when it comes time for the holidays but um this was my way of like yo i want to lift me up but i also want to lift everyone up considering everything that's going on globally as well as you know whatever you're dealing with personally so i'm glad that it was upbeat i'm glad that it was um i don't know i think just friendly i, I think i covered a lot um you know, it was fun. That was another key thing I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be fun for me. And, uh, you know, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. I mean, that's kind of music anyway. So it's subjective, right? So, you know, hopefully more uh, people like it than not like it. But um, I'm really excited, you know, and I think the final conclusion was just, you know, uh, I, wanted, I wanted to make something my son could play and, and, and enjoy and hear his daddy on you know, talking about the holidays every single year. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. I appreciate y'all. Please continue to stream it. You can download it for free, jastinartist.com. You can stream it on uh, Apple, Spotify, Tidal, all the major platforms. Uh, continue to 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 share it. You know, we still got a couple of days before Christmas. Let it be your theme song this week and on Christmas Day. And we'll do it again next year. All right.